Welcome Sagittarius Capricorn to your Akashic reading for September. This is a bonus reading. Hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay, friends, let's see what's going on with you. Okay. And remember, friends, these are for the present and the near future. The near future so these are anywhere between anywhere in October to the beginning of November. Okay, so let's see what's going on with you message please I've got two cards falling out already we have the seven of scrolls intricacies and industries and the king of forces nice nice earthly card right there um, <clears throat> that card there is pretty much the same as the uh, king the king of Pentacles okay so very beautiful so nice earthly bound there for you and the scrolls over here is fire so hey there you go got your fire and your earth going on <laughs> right there in your reading okay so anyways the scrolls taking some action over here this is talking about getting your industries down knowing that this is the time to start building your empire whether it's renovating your house or or your home or your business it is now time to take action if you're looking for a business it is time to build that business or get started um, in planning that business how about that right um, right now it is a time of greatness so this autumn I'm really feeling this greatness coming out for you and it's coming up in all of your readings um, so I really do feel that the the gate over here is open uh, for you to take control right of your business your empire your work opportunities okay so over here and really looking at the intricacies of the the planning really getting down to planning looking at all the small details going on around the situation okay you are looking for that job here it comes it's literally coming firm foundation getting your firm foundation going on nice so there is you know this whole stability going on around you so I would say that if you had the cards over there you know if I were using the white light Oracle cards we'd probably see the lion's gate over here the 888 lion's gate opening up for you because I really do feel that your will of fortune is really open and really waiting for you to take the steps towards getting what you want done um, and I feel like I'm, many of you are really stepping up to the plate over here and really taking control of the situation that you are in um, and really even in the knowing of the situation right okay so clarifying on the firm foundations over here getting yourself stable your homestead your life your business maybe all of the above you have the six of swords wow moving 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 in the right direction for this sun this feels like like i said that feels like the sun cycle is in your um in your favor right it's almost like summer's over now we're moving into this new cycle um, of happiness vitality um feeling more structure you know and the structure might even be just the structure of the way i'm thinking planning you know the way i'm doing things um, so there, it does feel like there's a lot of structure there and a lot of happiness and joy as well with the sun um, in the present. Um, going over here to the king of forces. Now, this is one of my favorite cards, right, um, of the deck uh, when it comes to the kings. I, I like the queen as well because it's showing all kinds of things. But this is literally saying it's because it, pres it presents a man who has a powerful and positive attitude. So it doesn't matter if you're really, you know, man or woman, right, just man in general. But it's, you know, it's showing that masculine piece of them. He comes with a good intentions, gentleness, and honesty resonating from him. Now, whether or not you are becoming the king of forces, or maybe you are, and maybe you also have this other person around you who you feel is in power, but yet you also feel this gentleness and this honesty from this person. It could be a business partner, right? And you are feeling their energy around you. Um whether it's from the work issue, a special project, just life in general. 
Um, but I do feel like for a lot of you, it's a little bit of both. You are the, becoming the king of forces. You are honoring yourself. And if you are, you know, surrounding by another person, they're opening up, they're balancing you, they're bringing you into the workplace, they're doing these things, and then making you be even more honorable to your path. Um, and that's what I really see about the king of forces over here for you is honoring your path, knowing that it's time, knowing where you're supposed to be, and doing the best for yourself. And with the king of forces, it's like he's in control of everything around him. So you might feel like you're in control of the environment around you, right? You might not be able to control the weather, but, you know, you have the rest of the environment around you um, being very stable, being in the knowing. Now, I kind of said that earlier that you, it feels like you're kind of in the knowing, knowing things, knowing where you're going. Um, because it just, there's a lot of intu intuitiveness that's going into this. Um, but it's also because you're doing it by your heart, by your heart's desire. Um, really, in, you know, saying, this is what I know, this is what I'm going to do in the near future, this is me. So in the near future, I do feel you are the king of forces. Um, and knowing that you're doing good and that you're at the top of where you need to be. Okay. Clarifying on. The crown chakra over here. This I know. Because I manifested it. I take action on this. And it just feels like it was magically done. You made the magic happen. And it's just kind of magically coming together. Um, it weaved what it was supposed to weave. You put in all the action. You looked at it in the present right now. Looked at all the little details. Everything that was supposed to be done. And it it's woven. It's, yeah. And it felt there. Look at that. You even have more offers opening around you. So if you work kind of like by yourself or you do this business, maybe you're doing business through a business through another business, right? Do you understand what I'm trying to say? So you would have a lot more job offers. Like maybe you get a job in Realty or something and then you have all these customers coming to you. That's what it kind of feels like. So not only do you feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be, but you know that you have all these other opportunities to make money on top of money, right? So maybe it's commission or something because um, I'm really am seeing that. And there's a lot of offerings going on. Some of you might even have a, um, excuse me, a Scorpio coming to offer their love to you as well in the near future. I kind of see that as well. But your clarity, it just is beautiful and it's just making you more clear and more aware and growing within this area. Um, so there's a lot of growth going on and you might even be becoming more clear about the job that you're doing. Um, which is actually helping a lot, right? As you get used to it, it builds and you're becoming more clear about that. Loyalties and feeling very loyal to the job and loyal to yourself. And that was that king of forces. So <clears throat> definitely, definitely, definitely. So in the near future, I just see you harvesting more. So it's kind of crazy because we had the harvest moon and it just feels like this fall, you are definitely harvesting <laughs> from the harvest moon. Um, and remember, it's also Mercury retrograde, which is crazy because it feels like Mercury retrograde is actually helping you along, right? Because it's bringing these dreams into reality. Um, so it feels like they could be past dreams for a lot of you um, coming into, in you know, into um, form, right? Actually becoming reality. It's like, like I said, the perfect timing for this type of storm, but it's a great storm, right? It's a great one. Okay, and let's grab a daily healing card for any inspiration in case you have any little minor bumps, bruises along the way. Keep that positivity going, you get two, hello. To feel your innate sense of truth, develop open-mindedness. So if anything comes to you that doesn't feel like it might not very, it might not seem truthful and something might seem disorganized, a little off, just remember to be open-minded about the situation. Use that clarity. You have so much clarity, so much intuition going on. You'll be able to know. Um, respect your inner cycles and honor them on your healing journey as well. So if you are on a healing journey as well, um, healing any minor bruises right along the way maybe by somebody else go ahead and 
just embrace them and know that you're honorable about this whole situation. Don't let anybody get you down. God, not now. Right now is not a time to let anybody try to resurface or let them get into your energy at all, especially when you have this beautiful cycle and the Wheel of Fortune open. Anything I say that doesn't serve you guys, just leave it alone. It's like, oh, you want to come back from the past? See you later. Door closed. I ain't got time for you at all, right? Like, not even kidding, right? Because you don't need any of that right now. I mean, nobody needs it really any time, but really right now, um, it's really about really honoring yourself and getting this done so that you can complete the cycle and keep going strong. Okay. Very beautiful reading, guys. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.